Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. And this is episode 4 of the Year of Poe. I was supposed to upload this last month, but because I had a cold, I just couldn't do it. But in this video, I am going to be discussing the tale called Von Kemplin and his discovery. At its heart, this is a really simplistic story and a straightforward story. It discusses about how this journalist, I think he is, or some sort of investigator, and how he is looking into the life of a individual called Von Kemplin. And we find out that Von was not having the greatest time in the world. He was struggling to survive and actually tried to earn a living and get money. And he was ultimately struggling with his life. But one day, he miraculously becomes really wealthy and he is spreading his money around and no one knows where he has got this money from and they are really suspicious about this and ultimately it ends up with people going into his home and having a little nose around and try to find out if they can find out why this is the case and what they discover is this strange kind of experiment set up where Vaughn has discovered a way of turning metal, I'm pretty sure it's lead, into gold. So that is the story in a nutshell. And when I was watching a video of this online, because I listened to it on audio and I had no idea what to make of it. So I watched a video about it. And then I read the physical um, story. And in the video, I'm not sure if this is my way of misinterpreting what the person actually said, but they kind of give me the impression that Von Kemplin has a supernatural power where everything he touches uh, uh, turn, turns to gold. And that was not what I got from this story. What I got from it is that he did it in a very scientific way and he created a way to actually create uh, lead into gold by having all these chemicals and all these experiments. It's also very unusual that Poe is referenced in this story very, very briefly, as it mentions Mr. Poe's manuscript. So I'm not sure if that's Edgar's way of giving himself a cameo in his own tale. When I was doing research on this story, Unlike the balloon hoax, which was published in a real life newspaper and everybody thought that it was a real occurrence, I can't find much about, so I'm not sure about his backstory. Not much about it is actually known and I couldn't find that much about this story. So when it comes to what I'm going to rate this, I'm going to give it a two stars out of five. It was okay, it wasn't anything special. I know I've only read four books or four tales from Poe, but considering I really enjoyed his poetry a lot, and I've only read four tales by him, I'm not really that impressed with what I've actually read so far. And as I said in my wrap up for March, I know that Poe is considered one of the masters of horror, but I haven't actually come across any horror stories by him so far. I mean, there are bound to be loads in here and I just haven't got to them yet. I just thought that I would enjoy the tales a lot more than I am currently, than I currently am. I'm not put off at all about reading Poe. I am still really, really dedicated to this series and to actually read everything that Poe has actually ever written, including his poetry. But I suppose that he's kind of a, typecast writer where everybody thinks that he is just a horror writer just like Stephen King but they don't but they just don't write horror that's not what they just write but that's what they're well known for so that's really all I have to say about this story it's really short and sweet let me know if you have read this story it, what what did you think about it did you like it did you not like it and let's just have a discussion about it down below in the comments. But as I said, I am really excited to continue on with my 
marathon of reading Poe's work. Unfortunately, last month in March, I only read this one tale by Poe, but I'm planning to read at least two, maybe three tales by him. If you have any recommendations about any good tales by Poe, then please comment down below and I will check them out. But with all that out of the way, have a great day. Read some awesome books and I will see you all in my next video.